Banana, banana, penis for China. I like to punch bananas in the face, but not on Monday. Every other day of the week is fine, but not Monday. Banana, 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 banana. So, Flory, I made the Pope into an elector. He's no longer Pope, but an Archbishop elector. Okay. But he still has the Pope reform, I'm assuming? You should meet Chewy Shoot. He is an EU4 streamer YouTuber with five and a half case of damn. Oh, you mean on YouTube? How am I trying to get the Naples PU? Uh, I'm not trying to get the Naples PU. I'm trying to get uh, Naples to get vassalized. Um, you can steal PUs as your vassals. That is what we're trying to do here. Uh, we've already succeeded with that before the end of the last uh, stream, but then I got a tummy ache. And I stopped streaming. But I'd already pieced them out. Uh, but, you know, I didn't save afterwards, so we're stuck here. For a little bit longer. And uh, we'll have to see how things go. Now, he is going to stop me from doing this, apparently. Seems like it anyway. <laughs> yeah, 5k subs. Oh man, if only. Okay. I guess he's not going to stop me then. He's moving into Soria. Will be more than on time to dodge that. Yeah, we might we might be able to siege down Valencia still. Yeah, we could probably beat him to it. Are we using a, a four siege guy? We're not. Because he's up there fighting. It's a bit of a shame, but what are you gonna do? Um you know what? I think I, I think I should wait for this siege. I think we can get away with that. Was this our four siege guy? Yes, it was. Alright, let's unassign him. And then assign the no the siege guy. Thank you, uh, Cook Edo. Thank you for some for four months in a row. Tip matter to you. So, and uh, sorry, Creative Eye. I missed you because it was in the middle of the of the intro. Can I still see it? Lige B zero. Thank you for some for five months in a row. Tip matter to you. Uh, seven months. Sorry. Tip matter to you, sir. Um, sir Bab. Thank you for some for a full year. Tip matter to you, sir. Happy Pico Helbe. Missed another one. Miss Creative Eye. Creative Eye. Oh. Right at the look at this, guys. I can't scroll up further. This is this is exactly the last second I was going to be able to do this. Great, if I thank you for something for 39 months in a row, man. Tip man after you, sir. All right. He's going to make Italy first, right? Well, that is the idea. But it'll be a while, especially because we're going to have a bunch of vassals. So yeah, we got 21% here. This should be good. Already up to 53. Titties. It would be very cool if we could get the siege because then we could get war up and uh, and a fat chunk of cash for ourselves. Uh, do need to assign a new general over here so that we can keep moving forward. Come on, 21%. Yeah, we tried. We tried. It's okay though. We got this. There's no way we don't got this. Uh, Big Moth Stubby, thank you for something for 21 months in a row. Tip man after you said, God, I love Florence games so much. I don't know what it is, but it's just every time I play for Florence, man, it's just. It's just so nice, man. Alright, cool, got Coscienza. And let's go, boys. Come on, 28%. Let's go, boys. Come on. 28%. Let's go. <gasps> yeah, there you go, now. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, apparently there's a battle somewhere. Yeah, it doesn't even involve me, but somehow it is giving him um, enthusiasm. I'm not gonna piece him out when he's on medium. It's not giving him enthusiasm at all. I don't know why he's suddenly really happy about this. Maybe it's because I hate the Pope. What? Do I want to form Tuscany or not? Uh, yes, you always want to form Tuscany as Florence. Uh, but you want to form Tuscany and then form Italy. Because if you don't form Tuscany and then form Italy, you'll still be a republic. 
But if you form Toscany and then form Italy, you'll be a kingdom. Right? But you don't want to do it before then, because that <clears throat> uh, makes you a monarchy, and there's no reason for you to be a monarchy at this point in the game. I mean, uh, I talk shit about republics all the time, but... Okay, he just jumped to low, so we can steal Naples now. Very nice. No one will care. Well, enough people will care, but we have truces with them. Oh, but I'd like to ask quite a bit more money than this. Don't get me wrong, 700 is not bad, but... The problem is he's unseating his capital, so... Yeah, I'm thinking what gives me more money, the war rep or, um, or the flat dockets. He has a very inefficient country, although he does have a gold mine. I'm guessing money is best. Just one more month? But I'm not gonna risk this 14% chance thing, man. So we're piecing him out here. But yeah, that one battle gave me 100 docket, so I guess that's worth. I mean, if I could gather myself the balls to fight this, then maybe. I just totally did that. <laughs> I just totally did that. Moved on to the capital. Beat it! Yes! Okay. Okay. Um, if you lose the capital, you lose more money and manpower to get it back. Is it worth the risk? Well, the thing is, it was 14% chance, but also, if they had retaken it, I wouldn't have lost a lot of manpower because I just have to fight this battle regardless. And then the fort will be. So I'd, I'd be basically. I was risking 14% chance of losing 55 military points for the breach and the thing. But if I do succeed, I'll get 1250 dockers because there's nothing for him to, there's nothing that he can stop me with. So I think it's worth the trouble, to be honest. Just keep in mind, I have to fight Castillo again later. I think it's worth the trouble. Now, I don't know if it's worth the trouble to try and go fight these. It might be. Let's try, because I think these armies are a bit bugged out. And here comes uh, Tully Fault, who's also at war with Castile. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those armies are bumped out, man. 
All right, let's go. Colonialism happens. Yeah, see, these armies are completely fucked. So it's a whole bunch of free war score that we're getting here. Damn, who's that nice general? Uh, that's uh, Michelangelo's David. It's free Dave Brown. Okay, trading in wine happened to us. Need to make sure that other armies uh, are ways away. So we'll wait until these locks to going into Toledo. Castile's now disbanding his troops. Can you stop being such a doofus? Right, he would accept max money, but now I also want the war rep. <clears throat> so. Because, you know, we won and everything. I don't know about this. This this might be stupid. Oh yeah, it's definitely stupid. Yeah. But it's okay because we can just try it again. Oh crap, I completely forgot. He has land up there. That's why this is difficult. Am I coming back for Aragon next war? Uh, I can't. Oh boy, Castile's the paper controller. <laughs> oh, come on, just split up these guys. You're not supposed to be here. Darn it. This is silly. That's okay. Once I get this, we'll win regardless, but... Okay, we can get our age objective, our uh, next tech. Tech 8 has been reached, but tech 9 has not. So we can hold off on this. Tech 9 and mill has been reached. And the innovativeness is no longer available. So I've missed uh, two techs so far. Right, actually, never mind. You guys seem to really like, uh, wait, hold on. You guys seem to really like this soundtrack yesterday. Oh, man. This is so derpy. Why doesn't he just move his troops? I can fight them, just not if they're all together like this. Just move your dudes, dude. Whatever. I think they're just broken. And so that's another month, that's fine though. We'll just wait for that. It's here. Apparently this is what we have to do. Tech 9 still not been reached, and we can pick a new age objective. I'll go for the Feudal du Jour lot. Got 49% there. Come on, man. Negative 7 reasons. You're joking. They think they have the high grounds. Yeah, probably. get rid of the units that got me over the force limit which was basically 11 so come on 
Damn, see? This game really doesn't like me, man. Time to check innovativeness again. Tech 9 still not been reached, so we could probably save uh, another year tick then. I have to check every month, but that's okay. There should be a little clock here, if if one of them is already been teched. Still no tech nine. Unbelievable! What kind of fort defense do we have here? Jesus Christ! What a disgrace! Oh, also, uh, I started the integration of Milan. Because, uh, well, I wanted to. I'm gonna use a dipper up guy. I want that over as quick as possible. Come on. There you go. Fuck's sake. Okay, fine. You be willing to do this? Now it's uh, so Eric, we can go back for Aragon later, but I would need to first uh, steal Sicily because Sicily is a Napoleonic Neapolitan core. If I retake Sicily for Naples, then I can steal Aragon as well. But I have to um, steal this first. Wait for her Huesca fort, it's 46 with a breach. Yeah, but what else would I want? There is nothing else I can demand. I could do that. I'll get twice the prestige from doing this, but also twice the aggressive expansion. I can force him to revoke a core. I'm not gonna wait for that, man. No, this is fine. Flory Juts, Gasm, Fair, and Balance Stage Mechanic. Alright, uh, now we need to go do this. Unfortunately. To make Milan happy. Uh, Club, Club Schmitty, thank you for something for six months in a row. Tip matter to you, sir. At least this way he stays loyal. Still have a truce with Ferreira. I'm gonna force him to give me trade power. I'm gonna force that guy to give me trade power too. And then we bring our troops home. And we can pay off all of our loans. Well, half our debt, basically. Yeah, we still have uh, exactly the same amount as we just paid off. jump the gun there but okay Milan very much happy restructure my debt I don't think that's necessary I've uh, been expanding quite a bit but it's all been um, through vassalization so I vassalized Milan I vassalized Ferrer and now I just vassalized Naples because if you take land for yourself next to HRE uh, you die so Vassalization is the most effective way to do to expand in this area, and so that is what we did. Okay, shit, I have to go for this. And thankfully, we are allowed to do that. So let's do it. I had to go for that as soon as possible, because otherwise we would have uh, screwed ourselves. Dramatically. Yeah, I'd like to keep uh, Vitello. France declared war on the Austrians, and this uh, jumped in between high trade income and low trade income. How much is uh, Spain paying me? Eh, three ducats a month. For... Um, <clears throat> 120 months, that's 3 times 120 is like 360 ducats. There's no way I would have gotten that same amount from, uh, oh shit. 
Jet 9's still not been reached, but I'll grab it because otherwise I'm gonna forget about it. I mean, four years is good enough, right? Okay, cool. Ditch espionage now for influence? No. I'll uh, ditch it for whatever. Well, maybe. I don't need that spy network on Venice anymore. Alright, so what else are we at war with? Yeah, some tiny specs. Uh, it's fine in my book. Let's get our two together. I think we've got way too many cannons. Yeah, you guys go do that, and these guys will go over to Ferrara. We've got forts everywhere, so we should be safe. Uh, let's also go improve some relations with Naples, but uh, Milan is the most important because I, we have to integrate that pretty much. Staying Catholic? Uh, I'm maybe. Haven't really decided yet. I was kind of hoping to flip Sunni, but that might not be in the stars for us. Did you really just declare a war for freaking Sundgau? <laughs> oh God! Look at <laughs> look at Austria here. Actually, it's not that bad. It really isn't all that bad. The Sunni Rome. Well, what's wrong with Sunni Rome, man? How much admin am I going to need to pay for this? Okay, he hasn't finished Italian ideas yet, so we can just uh, grab this. Normally get that. I don't know when he gets that, but we need to hurry. Normally you get that. Oh, never. Okay. Free war taxes? Oh, that's right. We do have free war taxes. Alright, we can peace out Ragusa. If we had a free diplomat. Go Shia if you can catch a... Uh, See in these problems. I can always do that. I can always uh, catch a Shia province. It's quite easy to do. In fact. How badly are these taking over the country? Uh, October 1502. But they constantly get interrupted in between. I, I could grab Tech 9, but there's no reason to do that because my enemies don't have it, so. And it's not like I need it uh, specifically to win this war. I do want to be able to fight the Pope as soon as I can, but the, the problem is they're allied with the uh, Venice. Flip Orthodox? No. No, I just had a game with or as Orthodox, and I have no intention of flipping Orthodox. Oh, cool. Got some tech cost reduction. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, there's no sense to wait until... Uh, or to tech up before we completely get rid of the thing. Uh, Zarek244, thank you so much for three months in a row. Tip man, if you see Protestant Italy, I don't need to go Protestant Italy. You can just take. What? Seriously? You're joking. Oh, that is so lame. <laughs> well. Looks like we'll need to remove a province, boys.
That is not the one I wanted. <laughs> yeah, I may as well just click the button that waits over faster. Dude, that's so lame. Did the PO box happen today? Uh, no, Monday. Monday. But I'll, I should get the keys uh, today or tomorrow. <clears throat> but Monday it will be available for people to send stuff to. I suppose you could send it there already. By the time it gets there, it should be available. But uh, that's a bit risky. Uh, I want to do this with these guys. Of course, they wouldn't accept that until you stomp them to bits. What size dildos fit in the P.O. box? Uh, t t t Tarzan? Is that a t Tarzan? Oh, goodness. Yeah, okay, sure. I'll pay the prestige price for that. I need prestige, man. I need as much prestige as this game is willing to give me. And we need to be careful with Ferrara here. Because when is that two silver? December? Oh, 1507. Oh, okay, we're fine. Um, If I fight the Mainzian army first, I will not have to fight half of this army. Oh, never mind. Hey, that should be mains accepting 100%. And actually, I should also have 100% on mains. Yeah. So, end your rivalries, please. And give me war up. Some additional 25 prestige. Yeah, if you give me two seconds, France, I'll join your war. How long do I have to accept this? I mean, all of the guys that are wanting to join the coalition, we're at war with. Why does he still want to call me in? It makes zero, zero sense to me. Well, no, there's still more than enough people, but whatever. Ha! Ah, 200 admin. Nah, you should at least have like a uh, three or, or something months, right? Question is, what do I want to take care of first? The Pope or uh, Switzerland? Well, I don't want to take the Pope out now because it's negative dip rep and I'm integrating vassals, right? So that'd be a mistake. So I guess what we'll do is we'll fight this guy then. Switchback advisor? Remember to flip it back in January. I could just wait a little bit. Okay, gain some extra prestige. The Pope just uh, joined a coalition against me. I can't wait. I'm not dealing with coalitions, man. Fuck that. Fucking bullshit. Not dealing with that. And we're gonna tech up.
Let's make sure we build up to four stamina at the very least. And then we'll be on our merry way. War taxes? I'm still on war taxes. I've not been at peace. Hey, he's moving back into Rome. Wait, what? Uh, make the Pope spawn in Germany, he'll be cocked automatically by the Shadow Kingdom event because he can't refuse if he's German culture. Okay. But Shadow Kingdom's already happened, I don't... Would it just happen again? For him? Or what? This is an arse amount of enemies, but it'll take them a long time for us for them to get here. So we can safely, I think, wipe these Venetians. Well, uh, defined wipe. I was about to say, we should get some help from those. Question is, do I want to take out Treviso first? Or the Pope? Well, it, you know what? The Pope is no threat. Treviso kind of is, so we'll take out Treviso first. Oh god, really? Already? Protestant Reformation? What the fuck? Why did I declare war for Venetia? Oh, I thought I declared war for Verona, sorry. In that case, because I'm stupid, I thought I declared war for Verona. Not that it really matters though, I can't take as much land as I want to take anyway. I think we can afford to flip into the new units. Yeah, and once we hit uh, Matt. Oh, okay. Oh, that is. So oh, I'm salty about this one. Never mind, I'm not salty about this one at all. Oh, yeah, that buffs out beautifully. Is there no one else? Oh, should not have said anything. <laughs> is there no one else? Uh, well, actually. There's 23,000 Venetians right there. What a shame, man. I mean, I was getting kind of lucky with the forts, but now... Now I'm not so sure, because we got very lucky with those stack webs, that's for damn sure. Uh, I'll be back in a bit, guys. I need more coffee.
You know what I think is more fitting? Yeah, uh, wait, hold on. A uh, Sith for medieval music might may, might be better. Although no, Sith for not medieval, but like the, the, actually no, this is fine. What floor do I live on? Uh, I live on the the the. the, the why do you care? <laughs> Third floor. <laughs> Why is Milan not helping? Because they are on Scottish. And uh, this guy isn't helping because I'm telling him to divert trade over to me. I might still be able to win this. I don't think uh, Venice will have Tech 9. And we've got free Dave Brown for crying out loud. Damn it. Even We're rolling like ass, but it's all being compensated by uh, free Dave Brown. I'm gonna get that four siege guy in there. Oh, look at the siege chance in a bit, by, by the way. This guy's gonna come in on the 11th, which is gonna increase the siege progress. So that, <laughs> it's literally 100, guys. <clears throat> uh, nice. <laughs> I've seen 99, but I don't think I've seen 100 on a siege before. <laughs> All right, cool. So we got this. We can go take care of the Pope now. Although it might be more worth my time to go deal with Saxony und Frankfurt. Wait, why are we more... Oh no, I'm not venturing into the HRE. Not whilst I'm in that uh, French war for... Uh... <laughs> Sun go. Does that mean we need to update the 70? We need to update the 77 emote to 76 because they changed how it works. Oh, you know what? I'll take that money. Why not? Alright, uh, I'm gonna get the cannons out of here with the four siege dude on top of Rome. And we'll go that way. Now, I reckon it will take them a while to deal with this. So we should have some time. Am I over the force side still? No. Yeah, I would like to keep Vitaly Pico. He's uh, really good. He's righteous too. He's 72 years old though, so he'll die soon. How's my vampire doing? It's a 69,420. <laughs> No idea, William, uh, 69, 420. All right, um, Pope, four, 49. Uh, there we go. All right, cool. What about, uh, how are you seeing this down? Watch him get a 14. I had to go literally to 100%. Literally. This is bullshit. Wait, hold on. Why aren't you helping? Hello? This is bullshit. I don't know why he's not helping. Yeah, he, he helps the moment that it's no longer necessary. Piece of shit. No. I get, oh, I can't finish the war until we peace out Austria. God darn it. Uh, we can peace out the Pope, though. I'd like him to annul his treaties. Give me war rep. That, and maybe an end rivalry. Anything for prestige, ladies and gentlemen. Who's still disloyal? Uh, Naples is. Yeah, this is really kind of derpy. Um, I think I'll gain the stab, to be honest. Uh, 
Improve with Naples? Uh, we could. We should also improve relations with uh, this dude. This is this is stupid though. Here, let's just walk over to Frankfurt. Not that it matters, he's gonna instantly siege us down again. But here, let's go fight it again. Maybe we can stack wipe it. It shouldn't be out of the question. Oh, never mind. He's gonna wait until the absolute last second. And I won't be able to stop him. This is so derpy, dude. I hate I hate this little stupid straight. No, 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 follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. We could have killed it. We could have killed it. We could have killed it before Frankfurt was even close. But no. And then he's still going to be two days behind. This is honestly stupid. <clears throat> now go make yourself useful and suicide your boats into the Venetians. No? Can I get access to Switzerland? Because then we can get there way faster. Okay, no, because... Why not? I, I can totally just do that. I don't know why it prompted me not to do that. But. At least there's no coalition against us now. That's good. Four years before we're going to need to pick a new idea. Um, I, 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 I'm kind of tempted to flip out of this. So what is that policy? You don't say. It's not half bad. 25? That really isn't half bad. I have no choice, I have to uh, burn that. <clears throat> uh, Saxony got annexed, so it's just uh, Bremen now that's, that we're still at war with. But Bremen can't get over here because I haven't seen his troops. Died. Uh, well, I think I want a bureaucrat because that is uh, what we have the least monarch points off. So, but I'll let it time out. There once was a streamer named Flory, fought for money, prestige, and some glory. One achievements galore, gave us memes and much more, but refused to stream Rome Total War. No. <laughs> This is true. I don't, it's not like I refuse to stream it. It's just like, whatever I... It's, it, it, it will happen at one point. Uh, Dyson Master, thank you so much for 33 months in a row. Tip mad after you, sir. Yeah, we need to remember to switch in and out of the uh, Improved Relations guy every December. Let's not forget about that. Okay, it's January, we can switch back into the Diplo Rep guy. It's an expensive joke, but it needs to be done. And we can peace out Frankfurt now. So I want you to give me war rep and end your rivalries. 70... He wouldn't accept those. It's 
25 versus how much? 28. It's a bit much. Uh, we can add another 4,000 troops, so... Let's do it. <clears throat> Seriously? It's fine. <clears throat> Look, they're going to leave on the 17th. So I can safely just go grab this. And I don't even need to breach the walls because uh, after one tick, it will lose uh, some garrison, most likely. Let's go cancel this. Skip this song. Accept that now, 100 prestige, don't mind if I do. What change that you now have text to speech? I don't have text to speech, it's just for uh, subs I have text to speech, not for donations. Disease outbreak, that's not enough to siege it down. Placate some, you're at 100. Yeah, but I'm also losing prestige every month, so I'll placate some, but after I make a new peace deal. Supply shortage, that is enough, so this isn't. A 100% peace deal and 100% uh, win, basically. Look, here we go. Now, if I take Verona and Treviso, he will move his capital from uh, Venice. Probably. Because it'll be disconnected. Can we skip this song? Oh, god damn it. I want early modern. OST? Renaissance. There we go. I don't want those freaking choir songs. Those are stupid. No, he's locked going there. Stack wiped, and now we just uh, occupy the rest and win. Um, think he lost to PU, Austria, over uh, Hungary. Because obviously France won with 100%, and then what is he going to demand, right? So. <clears throat> Still over the limit now because of this. It's um, September. Need to remember to flip out in uh, December to the better relations over time guy. People in choirs are stupid. It's not people in choirs that are stupid, it's just choirs that are dumb to listen to. <laughs> and not even people that listen to choirs are dumb. No, I just don't like listening to choirs. <laughs> Alright, we got Dalmatia. It's also December, so let's flip into the better relations over time guy. I'm not gonna lose 75 admin for two with public imputation, that's silly. Right, it's back to January, so we can flip back to the Diplo rep guy. Ah! There's something in my eye! It's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. I think it's out. <clears throat> guy increased AE reduction. It's not increased AE reduction, it's increased AE reduction. Oh, that's what he said. Yeah. It's, it, it, it is what it is. It's better relations over time. This always bothers me. Like, you occupy Venice, you get like 2% war score. What is this? It's because we declare war for Venice. <clears throat> 
We're a bit of a dumb dumb. But maybe we're not that dumb. These burgers, man, they're gonna continue to be the death of me. Who are my vassals? Uh, Naples, Milan. <clears throat> Naples, Milan, and Ferrara. So, thus, Italy. I'm gonna need to march over to Bremen. I'll go for the extra trade power because all of the other things are quite literally pointless to, for us. And maybe we can block the knights? If we can, that'd be great because it's 25% war score. And we can't because we don't have enough siege power. No. No. I need an admiral with two siege ticks. Two siege pips, guys. Who has it? Finnegan, Hartress. You don't have two siege pips. Well, rip, we're dead. All right, let's get out of here. Spam so he doesn't see the general redemption. Oh, Sviterska! Okay, let's go, buddy. But this is the last one, because I... Well, he does have a siege probe. Uh With that, we can block 18 dev, which is still not enough, because it's 22. I'd have to build, like, two boats for that. Maybe, just to be, to be on the safe side, we'd have to build a little bit more boats than that. Let's build four boats. Hope that that's enough. This, this was dumb. I don't know why I did this. Maybe in order to capture a boat or two. Okay, so so much for that. This is all really expensive for no real reason. Well, I mean, no, there, there was very good reason to fight this. If we hadn't, things would have gone very wrong very quickly. Cancel the no access to Hungary? Oh, uh, that's fair. Alright, we got to Bremen. We can stop paying for our troops as well, though. There's no point paying for them. Oh, goddammit, there is definitely a point for paying for them. No! Here. You go have the siege guy, you go have free day problem. How did that have no diff make, make no difference? Uh, I guess it did, uh, we just didn't notice. And when are these boats done? Uh, that'll be a while. Can I even form the Roman Empire with an endgame tag? Yes, because the Roman Empire is a super endgame tag. So, yes. You can. At least he keeps attacking me, that's nice. Alright, cool. Got Bremen. Let's go piece them out. I uh, went right on ahead and lost a crap ton of prestige. So I need to get it back. All through events and whatnot. Republics have it rough in terms of prestige. Can I see if Valak is allied to the Ottomans? <clears throat> no, they're allied to Georgia. We tried running away.
Uh, I know the expansion is still a ways away as of yet, but are there any runs you want to make sure you do before they implement any? Well, I wanted to make a 1 billion stack, but then it turns out it turned out it would crash my game. So other than that, not particularly, no. I was really kind of salty about that because uh, I had it, I had like... 500 million troops or something. And then the game just crashed. Well, it didn't crash, but every day in game took like five minutes. So. Right, now we will have enough to blockade uh, the knights. We just have to get there and hope that he doesn't chase after us. Yeah, we got there. We can't really get more than this. Unless I get him to reinforce something stupid here. We could try, it's, it's worth a shot. It won't work, but... Try to outmaneuver him, as it were. What? What do you mean this won't work? You're lying, though, right? Okay, shit, he wasn't lying. Well. <laughs> Let's just peace him out. Um, so I'd like to take Verona, and I'd like to take Ve uh, Treviso. I'd have to wait three years for that. Oh, the aggressive expansion is so fucking ridiculous. This is 35 dev. Dumb stuff, Carol. Thank you for the host, man. Took me out of you, sir. Oh, the others will join, all right. It's okay. I can just keep demanding Venice. Um. Well, no, because that's not enough war score now. This is not better than what he would expect. We'd have to wait to three years. Knowledge is power. I don't care about unrest, but I do care about prestige. Every little ounce of it. And you know what? We can still get more from... Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> we can't get more from battles. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're telling me that this is... Jesus Christ. This is 22 war score, ladies and gentlemen. What a joke. On its own, that is. Ah, I forgot to flip into the dude. God damn it.
Yeah, if I can get those 53s out of the way, I'll send the peace deal, but not before then. What is this guy? He's 59 years old. I will flip into a new bureaucrat in the hopes that he's careful. He's also 42, and he's well advised. I know, I know. I get 25% uh, penalty. I'm, I'm well aware, but still, it seems a bit excessive. For the past few years, Preacher has been catching the attention of the people of Florence. Girolamo Savaranella has spoken fiercely against the Gonfalonieres. The Pope himself and even predicted Judgment Day to be fast approaching. With the recent turmoil in Italy, more and more are starting to listen. Savaranella is now encouraging mobs to accost and no dynasties in the street to protect the ancient republic. It is only a question of time before he convinces the entire city of Firenze to listen to his divine visions. Now, if I say yes to this, I believe there's a 1% chance that I become a theocracy. But 1% chance for a 656, I'll take it. And he's a navigator. Uh, even though the wicked banking family was ousted from Firenze, their ambition to take the souls of its citizens has not abated for a moment. Their agents lurk in every dark alley, scouting for the moment when they might once again seize power from the Republic. We might have to resort to extreme methods to find them all. Florence Park. Do, do, do everything you can. Uh, Jet of 1010, thank you so much for five months in a row. Tip me out of you, sir. Although, this wasn't exactly a hundred. Can I insult something? No? I can't. Can I embargo Venice? Yeah, there we go. Can't believe you haven't done that. <clears throat> Alright, see you news. Just go in and out. This is a very expensive joke, uh, all of this. Very nice. I'm actually kind of surprised that we still haven't uh, teched up or whatever. You know, given all of our discounts, you would expect a tech up. I'm glad we haven't ditched a... Uh... Ah, I'll do this, because we're at max uh, Republican tradition anyway. Blackmailing Colonel. No, how about no? What about insulting the 53E rival so you can peace out? What? I don't know. Ugh, fuck, I missed it again. Oh, damn it. Now I have to wait one more year. Oh, damn it. That never works, man. That never works to flip into the correct dude on time because I always forget. Yeah, see, now they're still at 51. They would have been uh, low if I flipped into the correct doodle time, but oh well. Oh, sure. Why not? Yeah, we could pick up the age objective, but there's really no point in doing that now. Internal conflicts in Hungary lasted for a whole two seconds? October, November, December, pay off the loan, and switch. So when can I fix you? Never. Alright. <clears throat> cool. So I can piece them out for this now. Very nice. Yes. There's still a couple of people that want to join, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, now, Venice, definitely we want the war up. And we demand that. Glorious. Alright, cool. So, we want... Now, let's take a look here. Truces. Because steel ends 1514. I, there's no way I can uh, steal Aragon now. It's too expensive. 
It's just a darn shame because that would have been a lot of land, but I'd have to fight him twice, right? I'd have to fight for both um, Messina now and then fight him again for Aragon. So I'd have to truce break him. Switch back to the Diprep guy? He's 55, yeah, well. People expect revelations. Savranella has brought the word of God to the people of Firenze, but, only, but the people only truly believe his commands when they come in the form of fiery outbursts from the pulpit. Some citizens have even dared question whether God is even speaking through him. How about you invent something calmer? Also, Savoy is uh, something I want to fight. I want to vassalize this. But the truce ends when? December. Okay, five years. Anything? Well, yeah, okay, so we're fighting... Fighting the... the Castilian soon. Uh, Milanus is loyal. Let's go fix that. And Venice is no longer a valid rival target, so we need to set a whole bunch of new vast, uh, rivals. Why did he not move his capital? I'm not sure. Uh, Tunis and Kasul. PP up the ass. How much money are we making? 12 ducats a month? I, I could be making so much more. If only these guys were happy with me. Oh, can't I just give you all the land that you want? Gotta just give you all the land that you deserve. Oh, I can actually. This will increase their influence by ninety-five. <laughs> This will increase the influence the next So I've noticed. Yeah. So I have noticed. It's okay. Once these scores finish, I can, um... I can statify that and then we'll be fine. But the game trolled the crap out of me. I can tell you that much. Okay, we hit the point cap here. Yeah, I could pick up Abitech 10 now, and then we'd uh, be able to form Tuscany if we really wanted to. And then we'd have Savranola permanently, but I'm pretty sure we're going to lose him through events. It's either that, or he needs to... So either he dies, I think this is what happens, either he dies or he is forced to walk on a bunch of um, bunch of burning rocks or something. And then if he survives the, the trial of fire, then you become a theocracy and he becomes the ultimate ruler. Or he dies, in which case you get a Medici. So I'm gonna end up losing him anyway. but. I'm just thinking I really want a hundred innovativeness. So... But let's at least delay it by a year by getting two generals. How about that? Uh, Remy... I-I-Z. Thank you for some more point. Tip my head off to you, sir. And Welton Bumbler 08. Welton Bumbler 08. There you go. That way it's at least delayed by a year. Ah, uh, we can do one more. That way it's all, you know, one 
one set of uh, IMFM96. Oh, I did 86. Oh well, you got two siege. Mirth. Once again, though, 83 army tradition. This is what we get. Nonsense. Yeah, I'm assuming no one's gonna get tech 10 here. Like, that'd be absolutely ridiculous, though, right? At 10 years ahead of time? There's no way. You may need to spend that to lower inflation. Yeah, maybe. Fuck you. No. Bullshit. I'm burning. I'm, I'm sorry. No. No. Support independence is the dumbest thing in the history of legal. I'm, it's stupid. Because you can't end it. I'm not dealing with that. I'm sorry, I'm just not. It's, it's a mechanic that I just don't agree with. It's stupid. If you could talk to your vassal to end it, then I'd, uh, it's fine. But even if you make them loyal through the uh, support independence, so they're loyal again, they still won't cancel their support independence unless you declare war on the country that is supporting independence. It is so stupid. And you don't even get a CB on the country that's doing it. So sometimes you'll just have to no CB Ming. It's, I'm not dealing with that. I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna do push-ups for that. Ridiculous. No. Refuse. Not dealing with it. It's the dumbest thing ever, guys. I, I, I'm not dealing with support independence. And the, the worst part is, he probably was like 2% disloyal or something. That, that's the worst part. He was like 2% disloyal. At least now we get to reroll generals. <laughs> uh, tonight's owl is really upset, so I'll make him into a general. Uh, demon version, ooh. Ooh. ooh! He's fast. One more. Not me, please. I'm a zero, one, two, three. I'm gonna find a zero, one, two, three. Ah, there's a Do that. Wait, now, what, what did you do to suddenly give yourself a fuck ton of liberty desire? What did you do? Did he tech up or something to tech 9? Uh, that must have been what happened. And then he instantly gets his independence supported by fucking Ming or some bullshit. It's so, it's so dumb. It's, it's so dumb. Seed Parma to Milan. How about no? Oh god, the fuck you in the ass so hard right now, Batman. that. I'm still muted. I'm sorry, man. Alright. Still no tech 10. Oh, tech 10 has been reached in uh, Innovative or in uh, Admin, but it's only a little bit away. We could embrace this now. Let's do it. And it becomes slightly cheaper to uh, get this way ahead of time. And we can pick up our next idea, which is going to be either Atman or Religious. But for now, we'll pick Atman. Sir Guy Man, thank you for the bits, man. Tip mad after you, sir. I'm going to miss those things. I know it. Uh, we could form Tuscany right now. And in fact, I think we could also form Italy. Uh, no, I'd have to integrate my vassals for that. And uh, conquer Rome. Shit. Right, still two years away from that war with Rome, though. And uh, fucking Milan, man. Unbelievable. Look at how much placate local ruler nonsense we have. I have so much! I'm gonna build 6,000 troops. 
Screw this, I'm not gonna give you my prestige. Although he only needs to bump it up by 1% and then he screws me in the ass. Bastard. Such a pain in the dick. Alright, uh, I'm going to wait until next year, at least. Alright, and if we statify this... Yeah, we'll be okay. Do you want the conventional act? I don't know. Do you want this? I don't, I don't think I do. Alright, cool. Uh, let's go demand some admin support. We can also demand some mill support, but there's no point doing that now. Sell institution to someone. What? France? He already has it. Oh no, they have low. No, they no, they have it because they, they probably spawned it, right? Yeah. So who would I sell it to? You, you can you can type your. Oh my God! I can't believe he's not selling the institution as much as you want. But there's no one for me to sell it to. I can sell it to Bohemia, but I'm not allied with them. I can't sell it to someone that I'm not allied to. My only ally is France, so... Uh... Sell it to me! <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Okay. I'm going to spend a little bit of mill here to death push Naples. Oh god, can we just... Yeah, I'd like to keep him. Here, spend the dip. Ah, uh, still no tech tab. Here, can we go improve relations with these? And when exactly is that two silver anyway? Uh, the same as the uh, the other ones. Okay. Can we go build a spine ever called Castile? Seems good. I'm so freaking worried about this nonsense. Yo, uh, here. Just keep doing that. Uh, another one, because we're really good at this. Oh, yes! Give me this. Nice. Money. Oh. Only a thousand ducats remaining. I feel like that's just sitting at the same amount of debt forever. Yay. Oh, boy. The bonfires. No, oh, no bonfires, please. There you go, integrated Milan. Very nice. Tech 10's been reached. No, oh, still not reached. Well, I'm not going to wait any longer. This is only five years. I think we should have as a policy that if we don't get it after five, we should just grab it. <clears throat> so what's the innovative now? 64. Yeah, 64. That's, that's good in my book. That's fine. Alright, so we're way ahead in, uh, or we're way over the limit here. Can we get rid of our mercs? We can. Let's just do that. And we're a great power now. Fantastic. Can I start the integration of Ferrara, or is that not going to move regardless? I don't know. Probably won't even move, but we can try integrating him. We can also just try integrating um, Naples first, because that probably is going to take way longer. Making 17 dockets a month right now, and we can statify Lombardy. Anything we want to do with it? Well, let's go demand that mill. Fire that Ferdinand fellow, and then we'll just statify this. It's fine. Yeah. And also that. Alright, great. Now, I'm going to need a navy, I think, to fight Castile. Let's uh, take a look at the, how many boats they have. I swear to God. How long is that song going to last for? Shit's sake. Um, Cass? Okay, Castile has no boats. Aragon? Aragon has 16 galleys.
I'm gonna build a bunch of boats and then I'm gonna enable diver trade again. So I have 16 boats uh, ready, uh, ready and waiting. Should be okay. And we can pay off some of the small loans because our loan sizes have increased quite a bit. Yeah, no, we're fine. I'll have the rest paid off in a jiffy. Uh, let's just maintain that guy for now. It's good in my book. Although I do need the spine work on uh, the Pope back. I built transports. I know. I know I built transports. I also built uh, heavy ships, but I built a couple of transports. That's true. Man, <laughs> this is really starting to get to me now. That ruler is nice and everything, but I keep getting uh, those nasty events. I'm beginning to think it might not be worth it. Alright, let's go fabricate on this as well. Yay! Machiavelli publishes a masterpiece! The great son of Florence has published a book called The Prince! And I have it right here! It includes a lot on governing politics, not just focusing on the hereditary princes, but also on the possibilities for new princes. It explains how to retain power and how to successfully rule conquered lands. Fantastic. The end justified the means. Audiobook of the prince when? Oh god. He advocates for some very nasty things, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh... Many things you could say about the guy, but... Oh, God damn it, can you stop doing this shit? Where do I want my focus? I want to grab an admin idea, so I think I'm gonna park it on the admin for now. And can we flip into a better relations over time guy or something? So it won't be integrating anything. I'm, I'm sure that if I even start to integrate something, it won't actually work, so... I'll pay for this, it's fine. Gee, thanks, France. It's, uh, July. So let's stop doing that. The two ends in December. And France is going to ruin everything for us, because we gave him no access. Fucker. Yeah, no, France is going to ruin everything for us. We can already tell. Look, he's already sieging down Messina. Uh, in that case, I'm going to send a token force there instead of everyone. Uh, with the token force, I mean, I'll send one cannon over. And this. There you go. And the rest is gonna have some fun with uh, mainland Iberia. When am I going to full annex Venice? Oh, when hell freezes over. I don't know. It's it's a lot of Aegis. There's no point not grabbing this, so let's just do it. You're joking. <laughs> He's calling me in on the moment that I want to declare my own war. And he's already won. <laughs> yeah, but why... Why would you... <laughs> How is he even allowed to... He's been fighting that war for... I'm going for his moment. We'll be back in a bit. Yeah, I guess, I guess we'll have to do some... Exercise, because this this is a pretty nasty yeah, nasty one if we were to keep going with this one.
So you can't just disagree now. Waffalo, thank you for something with the, the some 20 months in a row. Tip that after you, sir. Paul? Yeah, oh, fuck. Screw Paul. I won, okay? That's all you need to know. Here, let's go ask access to Switzerland. And uh, march into Iberia. Let's make sure we clean this up. Man, that just doesn't end, does it? Now, what do I do? Do I, like, take a Catalonian province? Well, if France doesn't take it already... I could probably prevent him from taking that. Do they still have uh, uh, troops, though? They do. Why aren't you fighting the French then? I don't understand. I don't understand why he's not fighting back. I mean, I guess maybe he's afraid of the French. It's the only thing I can think of. Let's get our boats together. Yeah, I'd like to keep him. Probably sieging Siberia. But why would they. <laughs> Doubt. I doubt that. At one point, we are going to need to ditch uh, espionage, but given the amount of trouble I have with uh, aggressive expansion, I don't really feel the feel like I want to do that. You know, because issues. Wait, do we have a CB on Savoy? We do. I need to check that truce. It ends in December 16. How did I just do that shit with my army? Uh, do we still have that command? Carpet teach? Sometimes when a war is lost, the AI will think to preserve his troops. Well, I don't know what he's planning to do here. Hey, if I root out any guys uh, loyal to uh, Medici, do, do those events stop? Because... Well, let's just try. Because I'm getting kind of tired of... Spawning those events every two seconds. No, Nikhil Machiavelli died! Can I get some Fs in chat, please? Poor Nikhil. Oh. But he did finally get his employment as a statesman. I guess his uh, life wasn't a waste. The rest can move over to Toledo because this fort is going to. Ah, here we go. Um. Oh, I see. People turn against Gonfaliore Girolomono. Uh, so. Okay, well, hold on. So let him walk the trial by fire. And then he dies. <laughs> Following months and years of Savonello's gentle guidance, the people are becoming discontent. There has been no judgment day, and the city has not burned to the ground. Telling them that this is exactly because they have followed Savonello's visions does not convince them. Now, to prove his divine protection, it is being demanded of him that he does a trial by fire. And will have to pass through a great bonfire like one of those he so eagerly lit in the streets. If he passes safely to the other side, God's protection will be evident. If not, his enemies will have their way and burn him at the stake. 
that wouldn't he already be burned if <laughs> whatever. So if I click this, I just get to keep him. I mean, he's forty-six. <clears throat> I think I've always clicked this button because I I, I wanted Medi Med Medici's. I think I can get a Medici anyway. So I'm pressing this. <laughs> 